Sound like the first trouble on Skyrim, the first trouble on the uh, <laughs> Back of War just does not play the game until you see that jack. Get more. 
The combo of five instead of eight, that would be great, that would help a lot. Disable the last bob. I'm going to uh, get the last bob. To see what they are. The cops investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. Yeah, and one of them has a gun. I don't know why. Just because. Just because I can. You notice that there was a murder only in one apartment, but yet there is criminal type uh, in front of every, uh, everybody on this floor's apartment door. The police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask. Why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. I guess we'll find out. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. Identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis's girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. I don't think that she's supposed to look like an angel. I think that's just the way her clothes are. So some women wear clothes that have 
the arms drag down like that. I don't know why, but that is just the way they have their gloves. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. Shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. That's a casual way to kill somebody. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. So it looks like someone actually took went out of the way to make it look like Penguin did it. Same height over there, same height over here. These fingerprints are a match for the Penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. The Penguin was in the room. These prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? Well, I have a feeling that's not... The only not... thing I know for certain is that Tiffany Shooter was lying on the floor. But why? Can you let me finish, Batman? I have a feeling that that is is not Black Mask. Because Henry we saw Black Mask earlier at the Black Gate. So, that... These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany Shooter and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. Okay. The DNA here doesn't belong to these one of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. How do you know he was the intruder? Maybe it was the guy who actually owned the place and then the shooter was the intruder. You have to go with that? There's something over here. It's, it's, it's kind of pity. It's really hard to... It's there. But yet, for some reason, Batman has this very detective in it, you know. Come on, just lock onto it. There we go. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This sounds like something. Swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. Well, a white jacket or sports coat, that sounds like something that uh, Black Mask wears. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. It looks like she was looking at a cell phone. Which is right there. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The answers I have are these more questions. Who is the Joker? Is he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records of the National Criminal Database to identify who is in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. 
Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. But that's where I'm going. Well, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Let's head over back to the back thing. So, I, I forgot to do this before we went out to Penguin. Is you head over to the back cave out between Ava Green and Jackson, it's apparently, uh, really, just the you. Really, Batman, come on. Throw me a bone. There we go. Uh, as I was saying, uh, if you head over to the back of uh, you read this way, uh, with Gwen and Dr. Uh, you can speak to Alfred because he's, he's got a little bit of insight about the uh, emissions. Oh, no, we've got to do it during the walkthrough because that would be positive and bar. But I would suggest to do it on your own time. 8 2. Come in, 8 2. Delta 8-2, Delta 8-2, come in. Delta 8-2, come in. Delta 8-2, report. Delta 4-4, no response from 8-2. Please proceed inside to confirm 8-2 status. 10-4, dispatch. <laughs> if H-2 is that guy with a shield, then, uh, yeah, he ain't gonna be responding anytime soon. Oops. It's like there's a gravity, uh, opposite gravity around Alfred. The concussion detonator. Now the concussion detonator, all it does is it stuns people. That's a that's a little st stunt of the sword type stuff. It doesn't really do that. It doesn't really do damage. Sir, so, a moment of your time. What do you want? There's something about this Enigma fellow that doesn't sit right with me. Unfettered access to resources, an extensive network spread across the city. Whoever he is, the man has connections and capital. We can use that to our advantage. If he's buying things in bulk or using lots of power, we can track him. Perhaps, but he's also clearly a technical wizard. He's likely covered his tracks. Keep searching. He only has to slip up once to give us an opening. Certainly, sir. I don't really like the way the Batman started that conversation. He's like, what do you want? Master Bruce, you'll be happy to know I managed to have the gifts delivered to St. Jude's in spite of tonight's chaos. Thank you, Alfred. That's going to mean a lot to the kids. How did you pull it off? Well, the orphanage volunteered a truck and driver. They were apparently more concerned about upset children than they were about the flood of criminals in the streets. They chose wisely. No, apparently Batman, uh, well, Bruce Wayne, uh, gives, gives the orphans there in this time here. But anyway, I'm not going to quote the first for today, but I am going to take a break because I am hungry. I'm going to go get me something to eat, and then I'll be back in uh, a couple hours.